What's up guys, welcome back to another video at Standard Time. Today we will be discussing one of my favorite collections from Seiko, and that is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure collaboration with Seiko 5. Now, this collection was released back in uh, September of 2019, and a, a bit of context behind that. Now, of course, we know Seiko. Seiko is a company founded in 1881. Uh, they have a huge history of uh, top watchmaking. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure started out as a manga in 1987 uh, by Hirohiko Araki. Sorry for <laughs> the butchering of the name. Uh, it's been running, uh, it's been ongoing, it's still running the manga. And uh, after, after some time, in 2012, they decided to make it an anime. Now, uh, this specific watch collection is connected to the fifth season, fourth part, of the anime called um, Adventure Golden Wind. Now, a, they decided to release a, a couple of watches. This collection is limited to 1,000 pieces. And a, they based the collection around the a, characters in the season. Now, a, let's have a look at the, at the watches and yeah. So a, we start off with uh, Giorno's Giovanna a watch. Now, a, just a bit of context, a, I have not yet reached the fifth season, I'm uh, on the middle of it. I wanted to make a, this video specifically because I love these watches and since I started watching the series, I'm currently on season four, a, there, there will be spoilers a, for I believe season two. A, and <laughs> yeah, a, I wanted basically to uh, make this video because I love these watches and a, I started watching the series and I remembered that a, I saw a post on Facebook about these watches almost a year ago and I just totally dismissed it, apart from this specific watch, which I absolutely love the face. I just think uh, it's so outlandish to have such a purple on a watch, purple, gold, and it's so like a in your face. And it's a nice watch, it's uh, a very, it's a very fine watch because uh, it's a Seiko 5, but it's a Seiko 5, the new ones. So it's a hand wandable. It's a great movement. A, I absolutely adore this piece. Now, a, from the picture, we can see, of course, a, it's a leather strap. A, the watch is um, automatic, of course, Seiko 5. A, it comes on a gold color. I don't believe that is uh, a, a, an actual Volton golden watch, but a gold plated. And it comes, a, it's based on the character Giorno Giovanni. And next to her, a, next to her, that's uh, the stand, a, which is a, the soul of the character inside of the anime. Now, if we continue, we'll go into Bruno Piccio Ratta. Ratti, sorry again for butchering names. Um, also, a, a standard Seiko 5, a, this time uh, white. And I, like, I believe this collection has the best combination of colors Seiko 5 have released because they've taken the liberty to uh, base them on a specific character, on specific characters of the anime. So they've gone into like, uh, they, they, I, I, like, I think this is kind of a passion project of somebody inside of Seiko that really likes the anime and uh, just decided uh, to propose this idea. I mean, it makes sense. A Seiko 5s, as we've discussed previously in the channel, are tailored towards a, the youth. And a, this is a very popular anime a, when it comes to uh, when, when it comes to Japan and when it comes to international markets. This collection is only available in Japan. A, so that is kind of a bummer, but a, you can still get them on uh, Chrono 24 and um, eBay and stuff. Yeah. So I really adore what they've done with the overall uh, color selection because they've based it on specific characters. Like a, this Seiko 5, I, I would bet that if they just made it alone on itself, it's just a, a really nice watch. It's uh, a nice white with uh, blue, blue in this a uh, blue tones of it. And yeah, as we said, a uh, Bruno is there and with uh, with uh, standing next to his stand. Uh, we follow up with uh, Leone Abaccio. <laughs> Sorry again for the names. 
Um, and yeah, as I was saying, look, like if you look at the watch in it by itself, it looks like an amazing, amazing watch. And just that connection to the anime, a, I don't know, it just makes it a bit more special in my opinion. And now, of course, it's because a, I know these connections that I appreciate a bit more with the watch. I understand uh, this is not, this is not tailored for everyone. And yeah, if we continue, a Jodo Mista, really, really nice, a blue with uh, orange, orange uh, dial. I believe the the bezel, a, as you can see, it had one, two, three, five, six, seven. A, there must be a meaning behind it. I haven't yet uh, watched the fifth season. I'm still on season four. A, but just like those tiny details, a, like it's very, very incentivizing. And I really appreciate how Seiko is tailoring their new uh, approach to a, to the youth. If we continue, we see uh, Narancia Chingra. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, and just overall, they're, they're amazing watches. A, this one specifically, a very nice color combination between uh, red, orange, a black, and a bit of, uh, of cyan, which is, yeah, very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A Panacota Fugo, a very nice violet pink with a, again, a leather strap. Trish Una, and this watch I really, like, I really wanted to point it out. Mostly because it's just an amazing, amazing dial. A, the a math signs all over the place, multiplier, divider. It just, a, on a checkers board, such uh, an amazing design. A, there's a lot of thought put a, given to it, and it's fun. It's fun how they uh, they have these new Seiko fives, and they've decided to have fun with the design and just and just a, yeah, and just uh, make what they can with it. Again, with a black leather strap. Last a, would be uh, Diabolo. And that comes with a, a red, mostly, mostly red watch. A, it's very interesting how they've done like the, the different colors in it. The indices, uh, the the top two left ones, uh, the top two have um, green kind of eyes to them. And overall, I really, I, I really like this, and I like it because it must have been. A, someone inside of Seiko who loves the anime and who proposed this idea and a, it came and a, yeah uh -huh. uh, overall I really I really like uh, what Seiko is doing with their marketing they've realized that a, if they they want to approach young people as their new audience and they're making these watches this this can easily easily be done with uh, cheap quartz movements, uh, with cheap um, cheap Chinese watches. But Seiko has said, hey, we want to introduce new people to the hobby. And let's introduce them. Let, let's not change what young people are. Let's change our uh, product so that it tailors towards young people. Because I can easily see how this could be a, in the eyes of somebody who does not know anything about watchmaking and about watches and after they get a quality quality piece such as these a, they can start appreciating just the hobby on itself and I can see from here how somebody would go into a Seiko monster or probably even a Grand Seiko uh, yeah so I just love what uh, Seiko has been doing with their marketing tell us guys what you think I know this is not a what our main audience is but yeah, tell us what you think about the designs uh, tell, tell us if you watch uh, the anime and yeah see you guys next time